Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy KP here, coming back at you with another episode of Tips and Tricks. And today, we're going to cover an aim routine and how to improve your aim quickly. Let's get right into the video. Alright guys, also for my last video, giveaway winners have been decided. I've already contacted those who won. I'll put them on screen right now. You have 72 hours to respond. That's three days. If you do not respond within the 72 hours, I will choose another person to receive the uh, souvenir package from the major. Anyways, getting right into this video of tips and tricks, you might be wondering who is KP to tell me how to set up an aim routine? Well, I'm LEM in matchmaking, I'm face at level 10, I also play in ESCA main, and I'm A on ESCA. I also attend and compete at LAN tournaments, and have been playing Counter-Strike for about 4 years now. So I think I have a good idea of how to set up a routine, and how to help people out that are just beginning, or maybe wanting to get into the competitive scene of CS. In my aim routine, I'm going to cover multiple different maps and modes that will quickly help you improve your aim. Um, I, I've seen results over 2-3 to three weeks, you know, this has really helped me, and I really think doing other things besides aimbots or like DM in a private server will help you guys. So getting right into it, the first thing on my aim routine is a map called Reflex Training. I'm going to link all the maps I talk about down in the description below, so if you need to get any of the maps from the workshop, they will be linked down there. Now Reflex Training is basically a map where you're put in the middle of this kind of square, and bots will run at you, and you can just shoot at them. Or you can put it on this target mode. I like to have it on the bots running at you mode, so you gotta disable target mode. And I like to reduce it down to 6 bots, so that way there's not too much going on. I also give the bots Kevlar and Helmet, so that way it's it'd be like I'm playing against the full gun round. You know, I want that same experience rather than just shooting unarmored bots. So as you can see, they're going to run at you like this. And the reason I like this is because you have to move around a lot, and they're not just static. Like, they're running, they're dodging. Like, this is how players in an actual match are going to be approaching you. Now, there's a couple different things you can do while the bots are running at you. For example, some things I like to switch between is practicing my taps and practicing my sprays. It's really good to do against moving targets because in an actual game, like on an actual like competitive game or ESA or face it, whatever you're playing, players are going to be running at you and moving in all different types of ways, and they won't just be standing still. So I like to switch between practicing my taps and practicing my sprays at long distances. One of the most important things about this reflex training is to always have a specific goal in mind when doing this map. So for me, I mainly switch between practicing my taps and practicing my sprays. Now, whatever it is for you, just keep that in mind and practice that movement when you're playing this map. So if you want to practice crouch speaking or crouch spraying or your counter strafing, do that consistently. If you come into this map and just dick around shooting random bots, I guarantee you it won't help you. You need to have a specific thing that you are keeping in mind and practicing when playing this map. So on this reflex training map, I like to do about 200 kills from this center stage, uh, whether that be spraying or tapping, I kind of just alternate between the two. Um, and after 200 kills from this center stage, I like to go into free mode and come to one of these boxes over here in one of the corners and what I do is I try and hold this box for as long as I can against six bots running at me. So I kind of imagine like if these are zombies I'm keeping all the zombies out of this corner because behind me is a wall okay and I, I love doing this just because it gives me a box to play around uh, like imagine if this was dust 2 like this would be an actual angle that you would fight in a server like in an actual match and this is just something that I like to do. You don't have to do it, but again, there's so many different things you can do on this map, and you don't have to stay in that center stage. But as you can see, this gives me three angles to fight, and I don't have to worry about my back. So if you're tr so in an actual like game, in an actual competitive match, most likely I wouldn't have to 180 because of my positioning. So that's why I like coming to one of these corners and just practicing the same thing. Practicing taps, and then practicing long range sprays. Taps, sprays. 
Alright guys, so moving on to our second map, so after I do about 200 to 300 kills in the reflex training, I move on to the training center, which is the second map. It's got a pretty cool design, um, and in this map I practice op and pistol. So first of all, you want to go to the settings and make sure armor is on zero, and that ammo is on one, walk speed one, and I like to have impacts off, you can have them on if you like them on. Alright, so you want to make sure you have a USP or a Glock because again, we are practicing pistols right now and you want to click on this middle diagram and that's going to send you into this map. It's got a car. It looks kind of like dust. It's a, it's a mixture of maps and basically I have again six bots on the map and this is just where I practice my pistols. It's got some good angles. Uh, it reminds me of like a mixture of cash and dust too and these are angles you would see in a real game scenario. So that's why I like this map. And again, I'll just, you know, I'll just do 100 to 200 pistol kills in this server. So after I do about 100 to 200 pistol kills in there, I go back to the home screen and I click on guns and I switch to an op and then I go back again and we click on this map on the left side um, and that's actually going to put us in this arena. Now I like to switch between going up and going down, but basically the bots will spawn all around you and this is where I just practice my op flicks and my op shots for about 50 to 100 kills because again I'm not a primary opper on my actual team. So I just do whatever whatever feels good to practice my op in case I ever have one. And as you can see they're going to spawn up, they're going to spawn lower. It's really good to just practice your op shots against bots that are going to move and strafe around how enemies would, let's say on an eco round or on a buy round or whatever. Some of them will stand still, and that's nice, but again, most of them move around like this, and it helps you practice flicks and positioning. Finally, on the training center map, there's this really cool feature where you can actually have this door. Imagine like Dust 2 mid doors or like Cash Squeaky, and uh, you can widen the gap between the door however big you want. And then you can go as far back or as far forward as you want. And you can just practice holding angles with an op as enemies run by the, the, uh, the doorway. So as you can see there, it's kind of testing reaction time and spacing and positioning. So for example, if this is mid, dust two, boom, collateral. Like I'm just practicing my shot through tight angles. So a really cool feature of this map. And again, I'll do about 50 to 100 kills between this door. Okay guys, so we went through reflex training, the training center, and I'm going to show you a third map that I really enjoy using when I practice. It's called Recoil Master. So you want to come into the map, turn off the ghost hair, turn on multi-target and T-target, and then from here, basically just practice your sprays. I like to practice my bursts and maybe my spray transfers. What I mean by burst is my seven bullet burst. So for example, boom. Like that's a nine bullet burst and as you can see it's going to display information on screen i hit six out of nine of that spray hit reset go again i hit five out of five bullets on that spray 11 out of 11 bullets on that spray and i just reset and i just practice my bursts okay and that's really going to help you for mid to to long range duels as you can see you can uh, up the the distance and minimize the distance so however far you want to practice on duels so for example, if this is like a long on dust two, and just I just practice my burst on how many bullets I'm actually gonna hit in that gunfight. So at these long distances, the reason I practice the burst is because you probably don't wanna go for a wild spray like this, because you're probably not gonna hit that. So at these distances, you wanna tap or burst spray. And as you can see, I'm pretty consistently hitting six or seven bullets of the burst, um, five out of six, 9 out of 12, and I just practice this for however long I need, okay? And you can switch guns on this side, and for a 4 whatever you want to practice. Um, something else I like to do personally is practice spray transfers. So I'll reset it, and then I'll go like this. And as you can see, I hit 13 out of 16 bullets on that spray transfer. So if multiple enemies are rushing me, I think my spray transfer is pretty decent. 9 out of 15 bullets, so again, I might die on some of these engagements, and I might live. That's 11 out of 15 bullets that time. Um, and again, this map is just really, really good for practicing those burst sprays. 14 out of 14, 20 out of 20, 26 out of 26, boom, 30 out of 30. And it's going to give you a little ding when you go perfect 30 out of 30. Alright guys, the final thing that I like to do when ending off an aim practice or an aim routine is 
going into aimbots. Now, again, I did say aimbots was probably the worst out of the maps to practice on, but I will say that it's really good just to end off on because then you get to see how well all that practice is actually paying off. And I do think it's really good for just hitting fast sprays. If you want a lot of bots to kill in a small amount of space and time, aimbots really helps with your spray control. Uh, as you can see, I'm just practicing fast sprays. Uh, but again, it's all up to personal preference on what you want to do inside of these maps. Uh, my routine is just the 200 kills on reflex training, about 200 to 300 kills on training center, and then about 10 to 15 minutes with a recoil master. And then I'll come into aimbots or go into a retake server or a DM server and just chill, listen to music, and just spray down some bots or spray down some people. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do in aimbots, but I really think it's the best just for practicing your fast sprays and getting in a lot of practice with uh, the recoil control. But I would I would highly recommend um, doing other maps just besides DMing and aimbots because that's what I've been doing recently and it's been helping me a lot. And I know if it's helping me a lot, it should help most of you guys out who are just starting to get into the competitive CS or maybe you are a competitive player and you want to get even better. Uh, so in aimbots itself, I kind of just like to come in here, chill, listen to music, and just do what I'm feeling. So at, right now I'm doing some taps, and then I'll switch to sprays. And then I might even do some spray transfers and just practice how quickly I can kill two people in one spray transfer. Anyways guys, that is my aim routine. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or maybe you have tips of your own, please leave them down in the comments below. I really like to hear people's opinions on these types of videos. Let me know what works for you. Let me know if any of these helped. Again, all the maps I talked about will be linked down in the description below. I really think you will see fast results if you just give yourself a routine to set up. Do it every day, do it two times a day, whether it be 30 minutes or an hour, do it two times a day, once early in the day and once at the end of the day. And you will constantly, your arm and your wrist will remember what you are doing and you will, you will gain so much momentum in your CS career and competitive CS. You will just start to do this shit like clockwork. It'll help so much. I guarantee you guys. Anyways, that's it for this video. Please let me know what you think. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really helps me out. And I really hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. I got more content on the way. So I hope to see you guys there. Peace.